Okay, so a large number of guests have just arrived on the vessel. Yeah, I'll have to be careful, just so I don't fall off here. Right, that mysterious woman is watching them. Now that's the same woman which you first seen on the very first cutscene of the first chapter. Yeah, so it looks like I'm headed into a restaurant. To be honest this does look like a sort of Japanese style restaurant. Yeah, so one of the guests has noticed me. Yeah, luckily there's a huge pile of plates here, so I can use this lamp to swing into the window. Yeah, so looks like there's one hell of a feast going on here. Yeah, greed seems to be one of the main themes of this chapter. Alright, that's likely to have caused a mess. Just those two wine bottles falling and smashing to the floor. Right, these are probably going to notice me passing by. Yeah, so this explains why the chefs were so busy in chapter 3.
all right there's one of the chefs again Yeah, so luckily I quickly found a hiding place. Yeah, I can't imagine how much food they would have stored on the ship. so I'll have to go back the way I came in order to get to the elevator well because I'm British it gets called a lift yeah so the doors open so I can get to the next floor Right, we've got to keep sprinting in order to escape these. Yeah, I'm not sure how many guests are chasing me, but I would say, well, quite a lot. Yeah, so this is almost the end of the chapter. So yeah, this chapter and chapter 5 are quite short compared to the others. Alright, I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but there was a ghost of six just there. Okay, so we've made it past all of the guests without dying, so... Now we just take the elevator and then that's it for the chapter.